Alrighty. Welcome back to Altitude University. Hunter here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what ISO is and why you never wanna raise it above the base ISO value. Let's jump right into the video. So I'm gonna be showing you what ISO is with my Mavic 2 Pro. You can use any drone, the concept stays the same with ISO. Basically what ISO is, is it's artificial light to brighten your image. So basically if you have a dark image, uh, you can use ISO to brighten your image, but I'm gonna tell you why you never want to raise your ISO above the base value. So let's turn on the drone here and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna take a nice seat right here. Uh, no shoes on, in the grass, exactly how we should all be. Fun fact, I actually just got a standing desk that I've been using, and so I never really sit anymore, which is why this feels really, really good. All right, let's take it off right here. Boom. And we're up. So first off, if you look at the top right here, you can see our ISO is at 100, um, our f-stop is at 4.5, and our EV is at plus 0.7. So if we lower our f-stop right there, it makes our EV 0.0, .0 a perfectly balanced image. And from here, you can see if we raise our ISO from 100 to 200, it makes it brighter. So our EV is now up at plus 1.0. You can see the image is brighter. And then up there at 400, our EV is up at plus 1.7. 800, it's going to go even more. Right there. And it's obviously super overexposed at this point. So you get the point, raising your ISO um, gives your image more brightness by adding artificial light to it. So that seems like a good thing, right? At any point, if you have a dark image, all you need to do is just brighten it up by raising your ISO. But sadly, this is not true. Whenever you raise your ISO, it adds artificial grain to your image. So let me show you what I mean here by easily, I'm just gonna press record. And first off, let's do a properly exposed image. Uh, right here, you can see us, there's where we're filming. Just right there, and you can see I literally have my camera on a Pelican case, don't judge me. I forgot my tripod, it is what it is. <laughs> so you can see perfectly exposed image right here. There's no grain in our image. And now what I'm gonna do is just lower my aperture a bit and raise my aperture to 400, or maybe even more, just like that. And you'll see that we're now incorporating noise into our image. So our ISO went from 100 to 400, and our image is much grainier. And we could do this even more if we put our aperture all the way up in 1600. Uh, it's overexposed obviously, but our ISO is at 1600, which is really, really grainy. It's adding a lot of noise to our image. Let me show you another example here. So I'll raise, I'm gonna lower my aperture there, put my ISO back down to 100. So here we are right here with a perfectly exposed image, uh, ISO 100 f-stop of 3.5 and our EVs at zero and there's no grain at all and watch this so I'm actually going to raise our aperture up to make the image a lot darker so with a darker image you go okay I got to raise my ISO now so watch what I'm going to do here and put it at 400 uh, maybe even 800 let's see and put it at 800 right here we have an almost see perfectly exposed image and you can see how much grain has been brought into the image now so the lesson stands true here uh, if you raise your ISO above the base value, it's gonna incorporate noise into your image, which you never want. So now you're gonna be thinking, well, what do I do if I can't raise my ISO? Well, you wanna use your aperture instead. So you wanna open your aperture up as much as possible with that base ISO. And if your image is too bright, well, that's where ND filters come in. So if your aperture is between 2.8 and 5.6 and you can't get that perfectly exposed image with an EV of 0.0, .0 you need to be using ND filters. So what this does is it's basically sunglasses for your camera. I'm not gonna run through it, but basically it allows you to darken your image by putting a lens over it to keep that aperture value between 2.8 and 5.6 without having to adjust your ISO above that base value. So we have an entire video on ND filters that we actually just filmed last week. So make sure to check that out. But that's really as simple as it is. Uh, the whole point of this video was just to tell you that you should never raise your ISO above the base value of 100 if you don't want to incorporate any noise or grain into your image. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the red subscribe button. It's pretty cool. If you press it, it'll change colors, which is pretty, uh, pretty spiffy. We have a ton of useful information just tossing you guys info for free because uh, it's what we enjoy doing. It's fun to make content. 
um, and it's fun to teach others how to fly drones as well. So yeah, check that out and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about unlocking your drone's full potential and becoming a confident drone pilot, then be sure to check out our course, 14 Day Drone Pilot Pro. It's a speed learning program for beginners, teaching aerial photography and video editing, and our students are absolutely loving it. I'll link it in the description below. Make sure to click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.